What's up, everyone? Really? What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the iKings Daily Report, and you may hear my bird chirping in the background. It's being annoying today. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about the launcher concepts and uh, features of the iKings SGC Mod Division launcher. Now, this post has been on the iKings SGC forums for about a month, uh, this bird. Uh, for about a month, actually I posted on December 9th, and I don't think many people from the YouTube channel actually saw it there. So, I'm going to be talking about the launcher concepts and what we have going for that. I know I've shown sneak peeks of the launcher on the channel here a couple of times. I think I've done two videos. I mean, I'm just going to go on and talk about the features. So, the iKings SGC Mod Division launcher will have a secondary authentication system, which serves many important purposes and other minor purposes. I'm going to list a few of them right here and now, of course, because that's what this video is about. Uh, the iKings SGC Mod Division launcher and client will have built-in web browser functionality that automatically connects you with the iKings SGC forums. Built-in forum accessibility will allow players to directly download, install, and install uh, whitelisted texture packs, modifications, and expansion packs. Built-in forum access will also allow us to expand donor ranks and allow them to download the few donor-specific expansion packs and soundtrack directly to that uh, player's client. Built-in forum access will also allow players to directly interact with the forum community from inside the game, much like Steam community, uh, you know how that works. It will prevent third-party websites from uploading files and protect profiting from distributing the work. If third-party websites still choose to do that, the downloader will still have to register on the forums and see who really worked on the modification. Of course, we are also thinking of the future going into designing both the launcher and the client, we are having uh, built-in IKs SGC form user authentication to ensure that we complete our uh, to ensure that if we complete our plans for a massive MMO style server multiplayer adaption of the Doctor Who client mod, we can ensure a global ban system and donor system systems for player rankings and badges and achievements. This will also allow players to connect with other players through a built-in friend system without having to physically go onto the IKs SGC forums on your web browser and do all that stuff, which I know a lot of people hate doing. There are many more uh, reasons for why we are doing additional authentication system, but those are really the few I can delve into while I'm this exhausted. Oh, wow, well, I wrote this post when it was at 2 in the morning. I see what I meant there. Anyways, uh, my point is that we are thinking of both the present and the future. Built-in form integration is the best way to go. Players will be directly, will be able to directly interact with each other of the various Mod Division projects and the players in the iKings SGC server network. Uh, both the current single player and possible future MMO versions would benefit from forum integration and user authentication. I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to... Oh, wait, no. I did want to do this. Anyways, you'll be seeing this in the background throughout the entire video, and that's the various concepts I've devised uh, going into when I first started looking at concepts for the Mod Division launcher. And, yeah, so I'm going to discuss a little bit about what each individual section on the Mod Division launcher... Oh, bird, shut up! What is it with me telling people to shut up these days? Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to discuss a little bit about what the, uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, what the individual sections on the Mod Division Launcher, I can actually see Mod Division Launcher do. Uh, so the default background on Launcher and Client is a video playing in the background, which is the Time Vortex. Now, this isn't implemented in the, well, it is implemented, but it's not activated in the snapshot of the launcher right now. There's some bugs to work out on that. Uh, on the left is a live updating newsreel that displays the latest iKings daily reports and news updates pertaining to any iKings SGC Mod Division project. The top is a clickable banner that opens up with a menu of all the Mod Division projects you can launch from the launcher. So that means you can launch Dr. Climod, you can launch, uh... Uh, yeah, Stargate Chevron 7 Client Mod, you can launch Harry Potter's Wizardly World, or whatever, whatever uh, projects we work on in the future. 
Directly below the project banner is a remembered user block. This is where all the usernames you have logged in with will be able will be available for quick launching the client. This is where you will be able to see if that account is banned on the AccuSSGC forums and any future MMO version of the DWCM, or if you are authenticated, authenticated, which means you can play just like normal. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. Below the user, remembered user block, you will find a set of icons that will take you to our YouTube channel, Twitter account, Steam group, and PayPal donation button. Below those set of icons are, of course, the login box where you can log in with both your Minecraft account and Nike's SEC Forums account. To the left of that is a Mod Division logo, which opens up a synopsis of what the Mod Division is. And yeah, so then at the top, top left, I believe, you have a set of links that take you to the IQ's SGC forums homepage, the mod division uh, dedicated section, and the IQ's SGC ser uh, servers section. And yeah, we are also going to be having customizable backgrounds for the launcher and client. So basically you can open up a menu and select your own background. There's various backgrounds, Time Vortex, Stargate Wormhole, uh, IQ's SGC wallpapers, mod division wallpapers, etc, etc, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, moving on, uh, yeah, so the news reel on the left, uh, that says updates and news, that feeds from three different RSS feeds with images and videos and opens up the link in the launcher, I think, or maybe it opens in the web browser, I'm not sure, but basically, all news updates and everything will go there, and it's basically a new take on RSS, instead of having a big wall of text, you're gonna get a lively, uh, fun to look at well not fun but easy to look at thing that tells you what it's about before clicking it uh yeah i think that's all for the launcher right now i know we have some features planned for it that i can't get into right now and throughout the video you will have been seeing the concepts and the work in progress version snapshot of the launcher so i think i've rambled on for wow six minutes 45 seconds now so I'm just going to let you go, and I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about the launcher, and watch the videos, blah blah blah. Look at the outro for all the important links that you need, and see you all in the next video.